welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and we are going to make our candle holder out of these little half inch cubes. I think they're half inch. Yep. Half inch square cube blocks. I've got some Dollar Tree cork. This is all Dollar Tree. We can use some of these. They're um, dowels that are cut to six inches. Maybe we'll use some of those. I got a tumble tower game. I'm not painting mine, but you can. And then I have a variety of glue here that could be used. We have wood glue, Elmer's glue all, school glue. Or what I used was the Dollar Tree wood glue. It worked great. Um, for the rest of it, I'm gonna use some hot glue just for ease. And then I have some other things to show you that you could do for different candle holders depending on your needs so let's get started i will show you how i did it all right so what i have done is i took this cork this is not the size but i took the cork peeled the back off and i used this woodworking glue from the dollar tree it worked fantastic just as good as any woodworking glue i've ever used for a dollar thank you and i love the tip so I glued them using the adhesive on the back of the cork and the wood glue and I made a 10 cube by 10 cube square because that's what will fit my candle. Now one of the things is I didn't line them up. These cubes are not consistent so it's a little rough on that side but I think it'll be okay. I have some extra which also can be used for feet if I decide that I want to raise this up. So I used a piece of cork. Um, other things you could use for feet are like wooden balls or these pearls, depending on what your you know look you're going for. Sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth. I'm still not feeling great. However, I am convinced that now it is allergies and not anything viral. Okay, so I have my glue sticks. Oh, and the reason I did 10 squares, I think 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, I lied, 9 by 9, is that's how big I will need it to hold a Bath and Body Works candle with a side. If I just want to do it like this, I could have gotten away really with 7 by 7 if I just wanted to use it as like a trivet. But we're going to put some... sides on it. Now I thought about using just these cubes, but I want openings so I can see the candle glow. So I'm thinking that this tumbling tower game is going to fit the bill for us, right? These are great too. If you haven't worked with them, you can stain them. You can paint them. I'm not doing either to be honest, because I really like this raw wood look. But if I do this again for fall or the holidays, you know, maybe I'll decide to paint it. Um, it's a Jenga game if you don't know what, you know, what I'm talking about. But you get a lot of pieces. Sorry, I should have opened this beforehand. You get a lot of pieces of wood that are half inch. And I can do them up this way. Right, and my point is that I want to do, and I have to figure it out, is I kind of want to space them so you can see the light through the holes. Or I could just do them tall like this. One row and then across one row. There's all kinds of things we can do. Um, but what I think I'm gonna do is utilize these um, for a couple reasons. But if I'm took these squares here and did say, let's say three tall. No, I think I should use these three tall. What do you think? Yeah, these will make it taller. And then I can attach that to the front. So I will show you what we're going to do. We're going to use these tumbled blocks. 
And like I said, I'm going to use hot glue for this just for ease of time. But let me um, raise you up here. Hold on. All right. We're back. So what I'm going to do, I'm just taking a piece of this tumble block and I'm going to put it in the corner here. Right, and that was a little deep with the glue, so I'll wipe some of that off. But I also want to go this direction in the corner as well. See how that will go? I didn't put any glue over here. Let me glue it. And what I've learned is you don't want to put too much glue. Okay, let's show you my side here. And you want to hold it down and let it dry. Actually, put a little glue up that side too. There we go. Maybe that'll be better. Yeah. There we go. And that brings it all the way up to the side. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. Except for I'm going to go this way and that, or this way, yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing is perfect in this world, guys, right? So we're going to go down here and then on the bottom. And attach them together. And then one right here. So we're going to make like a little fence. I just really wanted something rustic, but you do you. I mean, they sell enough wooden pieces for you to put together any candle holder that you want. What did I do? One, two, three, blank. One, two, three. One, two, three here. Oh yeah, it's here. Kind of lost track. All right, everybody's done. Now I'm gonna take some of this burlap harvest market twine, just plain old twine in a brown, but I wanna start it, I'm gonna do a wrap here, here and here, and make it look like a fence post, cause I think that is just cool, right? So first things first, we're gonna put hot glue around here. We really oops, just want to get everybody attached. Everybody in the pool. Right before we start turning. But you really want to get them, the, you know, the first row, a good attachment. And just a little over here. And also what this twine is going to do is it's going to secure everything. There it is so far. Needs a little cleanup. I think I need an embellishment. What do y'all think? Some type of something. But that will hold my candle. I just like it. I think it's so rustic. But let me see if I can wrangle up some embellishments and then I'll show you the finished product. Right, I think I found something fun. 
just some wooden twigs. I'll show you just one and then I will attach them all and show you the finished product. But there we go. I like that. I think that's a good finish. on the side, a nice twig. Kind of gives it that rustic look. So I'm gonna put those all around and then I'll show you the lit candle. Here we go, guys. And I really like that a lot. I just love how rustic it is, um, but you can make it you. And that's the beauty of any kind of crafting is you make it how you would like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will have some more crafts coming to you real soon.